Hello everybody, today I'm gonna talk about elevator talk. So what is this and how this is related to your research. Okay, imagine that you got in an elevator and you got, you suddenly found the CEO, CEO of a big company also standing in the elevator. So what are you gonna do? You just gonna ask normal questions like, hi, hi, how you doing? We're doing good. This is part one. This is the most normal conversation. Second, like, it's lucky, right? It's a, you never know and something good happened. You, people take appointments for that thing, but no, now you're in a face-to-face -face with a person who has so much power and resources to help your research. Most of the time we use this thing to get money or fundings for your research without simply asking for it no we in this conversation we never ask like hey i need money for or i need fundings for my research no so you start the conversation and it should it should maximum be of two minutes or three minutes not more than that because ugh, no one has that much patience and you have to act really casual on it and it's this is i'm not saying that you are going to frame it in your in, at the main moment no always have have a two minute speech about your research in your head just frame it on um, when you're free and frame it in a really good way so what does that speech that two or three minute eleva elevator speech should have what should be the components of it so the first component should be why always know the benefits of your research that what are the benefits your research is going to do for a particular industry for a particular environmental problem for mankind always start your conversation with why that why you're doing it and then go to the what what you are doing it and then go like how you're doing it that's the three points right why what and how so why it's like because how is more about technicality and people don't want to enter for example i am a researcher and if someone if a car mechanic comes to me and he starts blabbling or his all his like hard terminologies in front of me i'm not gonna i will start losing my focus and we don't want that right so or and with the benefits you can actually kind of reframe it when you meet a person because it if you are meeting a industrialist just tell them the benefits that you have with your your research related to that industry and then with the conversation as a conversation initiates you can just go uh, and if the industrialist is interested a lot of time they will be like Hey, just grab a lunch and have a meeting about it and then the industrialist might grab a lot of more educated people and then you can explain the how parts to them but most of the time people get your idea by why and what so always keep this ha this thing handy because for example you're working in a company so the company should be having both high position and low position people at the same spot and you never know that whom you meet like when you meet so it's always good to have your research thingies or your work what you're focusing or your investments in handy because you never know wh whom you meet and who gets interested in funding your researches or doing something more so like achieving a uh, giving you a more better guidance for example if the connection is not about funding he or she can like oh you're doing researches in biofilms awesome my one friend xyz is in this x abc university and they're doing a uh, research on this topic you might want to talk to them and that's how connections make connection gets made and that's how you just find better opportunities because and i feel like uh you if you're so much focused on something then you should focus your energy in getting that in achieving that goal and and it's it's a really handy thing you can do it like anytime always have your 
to a three minute research proposal hand and it's like it's so easy you never know who is ready to fund your research who's ready to make more connections to you who's ready to offer you an opportunity like hey you're doing a research on biofilms for summer my one industry why one company wants to do this do you want to volunteer or do you want to do a paid internship you need to do these documentations you never know so rather than just wasting that precious time and hi hello talking about family friends it like this is a really good conversation too but this is not something that can do so much good for you when you meet person for the first time but when you may like establish really good relationships then these conversations are the i feel like the main building blocks of the relationship because then you start sharing personal stuff like family friends everything because then you act like depending on the position it can be any kind of position it can be friends it can be it can be family like any kind of so oh but yeah the first first thing is be professional and talk about business and everybody i feel like everybody who meets meets you for the first time and you talk about business and they see if they see that how ambitious you are for your goal then it's already a very positive response to it's like it's a very positive imp first impression so take my advice try it if it helps do let us know in the comment section thank you bye bye